Well, here I am on my Mac, and I really want to play Minecraft Bedrock. So let me just click this. Yep, yeah, nothing quite like Minecraft Bedrock on a Mac. Wait, wait a minute. Minecraft Bedrock on a Mac? What's up, guys? Profe Pablo here, Spanish teacher turned Minecraft engineer. People, it has been a while, and I get that. <laughs> I have my reasons. But we're going to dive right in to today's video, which is how to play Minecraft Bedrock on a Mac. And I'm going to show you how to download it. I'm even going to show you how to install add-ons and stuff like that. And this is all in prep for a series that I'm starting called Profecraft because I want to play it on my Mac. So as you can see here, I am using a Mac and we are going to go ahead and see how to install this thing. So before I go any further, I do have to say that you do need to get on a friend's Android device, or if you happen to have an Android phone, that works too, and you need to download Minecraft through the Google Play Store. You cannot currently do that on a Mac. The easiest way to do it is ask a friend to borrow their phone, log into the Google Play Store with your account, and pay for Minecraft. It costs somewhere between seven and 15 bucks, depending on where you live, I assume, but it's not as expensive as the full PC version. You can simply go to Google and type in Minecraft Bedrock Linux Launcher. And you are going to get something that says mcpelauncher.readthedocs.io. That is what you want. So you're going to click on that. When you click on the link, it's going to take you to a page that looks like this. You want to scroll down, keep going until you see Mac OS. And then when you click on currently available here, it's going to take you to a separate page. It's on GitHub and it is going to give you a whole bunch of files that you're like, ah, which one do I choose? It's actually really easy. I'm going to choose this latest one down here. See, it says 10.13. Clicking on that, and my installation begins. After that's complete, I'm going to show in Finder. Uh, most of your web browsers should have this. Once you have it in your Finder, what you want to do is go over here and double click. It's going to open this window here, and you want to take this icon and drag it over here to Applications. Once it's dragged, you can open your applications. Then you want to scroll down till you find that icon right here. See, that's Java. That's the trader. Just kidding. Okay, and once you find it, what you want to do is hold down Option and right-click. And then press Open. And that is going to bring up a window that looks like this. Now, if you don't hold down Option and do it, it won't bring up this window. So then you press Open here. And it went ahead and installed. And it should say you're up to date. And then you press continue here. It's going to ask to sign in with Google. So you click on that. It brings in a Google sign-in window. And there you go. It's asking who will be using this device. I'm going to say me. You agree to the terms and conditions. And I'm waiting. There we go. Download and play. So I'm going to download and play. And it is going to download Minecraft for me. And once it's done downloading, as you can see, it brings up Minecraft. I'm going to go ahead and sign into my account. And my computer already sounds like an airplane getting ready to take off. That's how we know it's working. Cool, so I'm signed in. And again, I'm showing you, look, this, this is on a Mac. I'm, I'm doing this on a Mac. It actually runs really smooth. Let me show you. I'm going to play World. Okay, I love the music just as much as anyone else, but I'm going to go ahead and mute that. I'm going to create a new world here. And boom, as you can see, here I am playing Minecraft Bedrock, the latest version, on a Mac. Pretty impressive, and it runs super, super smooth. There was a season where this wasn't working, so I'm really glad they got it back up and running and updated, and it's awesome. 
Now, let me show you how to install add-ons, things like that. People ask if you can play this on multiplayer. Yes, you can. I've done it before. I've played Realms with people on this. But uh, let's look at how we can download add-ons. Okay, to find our com.mojang folder, what we are going to do is go up here to go. If you press the option button, you'll see something that pops up called library. You want to click on that. Go to application support. And then you want to look for MCPE launcher. Click on that. Then if you go over here to games, and there's your com.mojang folder. Now, what I would suggest doing is go ahead and drag it over here to your favorites. And that way it's always there. And here you're going to see a bunch of things. Uh, behavior packs, you can drag behavior packs and place them in the game that way using that folder. They do need to be unzipped folders. Uh, you can go here to resource packs, do the same things. Or if you're going to be doing coding like I'm going to be doing in this series, you can put packs you're working on over here. Okay, and since I have a side quest add-on, I'm going to go ahead and drag that folder over here. This folder over here to resource packs. By the way, this is where your worlds are saved as well. I'm going to go ahead and reload Minecraft. I'm just going to go ahead and pin this over here. Keep in dock. Yeah, that's what I want. Okay, now if I go to play and I look up behavior packs or resource packs, boom, they pop up over here. Pretty cool stuff. Guys, this is Profe Pablo. Thanks for watching this easy tutorial on how to play Minecraft Bedrock on a Mac. In my next video in the series, I'm going to be starting a world from scratch. The series is called Profe Craft because I'm going to be playing Minecraft my way, the way I like to play it. And if I don't like something, I'm going to code it into the game. <laughs> Sorry, it's been a while, been busy, but I'm happy to be back posting videos for you guys. As always, thanks for watching.